It's the process. Hello, everyone. <laughs> we need to come up with a um, more creative way of greeting all of you every Sunday. It's good to see all of you again. Um, our ladies who are actually cooking with us through Zoom, they're having some technical difficulties. <laughs> a couple of them just messaged us and they're like, ah, I had to restart my computer. Anyway, how's everyone doing in Texas? It's kind of gloomy. <laughs> it's become really, really cold in Texas. Okay, and if you can see through our window, do you see that? It's only five o'clock, but it's dark, <laughs> a lot darker than usual. I love the weather though. So yesterday we were in the 50s, right? Like, uh, I think so. Mid to high 50s, and that was really nice. I love cold weather, but I don't like it gloomy. <laughs> I get gloomy too. It, <laughs> it affects my mood. So I love it when it's cooler, but then there's sun, right? <laughs> okay, so we see Mike but and Anika anyway, Hey, and everyone. Joanna. Joanna, Rana, yay. Rana is Welcome. cooking with us for the first time. Rana, Welcome it's to good to have you. Cooking along with us today. And again, hi to everyone in Facebook. So you may stumble upon this. This is Seven with Chad Marvy. Mm -hmm. It's an hour long cooking show where we cook with you, okay, using only seven ingredients or less. So I hope yes. you learned something that you could share with your families tonight mm -hmm. or this morning or this noon, wherever you are in this world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, hey, um, we are making two different things that have certain steps that will take longer, okay? So we're gonna start, chop chop. Leah, Joanna, Rana, and Becky, we all need to preheat our EOC now for a hunt to, two, four, to 450. <laughs> My tongue is getting, it's getting loopy. We are going to preheat our EOC to 450 degrees, okay? Those who have solid master. And then Amika, you need to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Okay. Now, are you using thighs or chicken breasts? Let me talk to Miss Amika. Thighs. Thighs, skin on, bone in. Okay, 425 degrees, please in your oven, okay? Okay, well, we're preheating those, okay? Let's grab our chicken thighs and we are going to season that and rub each piece really well with your garlic powder. But before you do that, Joanna, let's add about half a teaspoon of salt to our garlic powder, okay? So we're going to season our chicken that way. So I have two tablespoons of garlic powder here. I am going to add about half a teaspoonful of salt and mix it together and just uh, season the chicken. Hi to Sheila Gent. Thanks for joining Hi, us. She... And from Jay, Jay from, um, from Perth. Hi, Jay. Jay, say hi to Martin for me. <laughs> Hello to our brother, Marvin. Marvin Mariano. Thanks for watching, bro. Hi. Susie and Maisel. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Oh, the Filipinos, you will be so happy to see us make food for the gods. <laughs> Do you guys know that food for the gods is actually a Filipino dessert that a lot of international chefs and celebrities have actually learned to make because it's really, really good. Hi, Autumn. It's good to see you. <laughs> Okay, so we're seasoning our chicken really well. Go under the skin, okay? Don't just season on the skin. Amika, Autumn, help mom. You have to make sure you season under the skin. And then on the other side, by the bone, try to put some of your garlic powder in the crevices, okay? Because you wanna make sure somehow that your seasoning really gets inside, okay? In the meat. We're going to try to help that. Okay, so we're rubbing really well, seasoning really well. And then Amika, for those of you who are doing this traditionally, you're going to brown your chicken thighs in your oven. That's why you're preheating your oven at 425. So the next thing you're going to do is find a dish rack, okay, a baking rack, or not rack, a baking dish rather, 
that can fit the amount of chicken that you're cooking today. And you make sure you lay it down on one layer, skin down, okay? So the portion that has the bone, it has to be up, okay? And then, Autumn, you're going to bake your chicken thighs at the closest place to the coil. So if your coil is on top, typically it's on top, right? Go close, as close as you can, your closest rack to the top of your oven, okay? That's how you're going to brown and cook your chicken thoroughly. Now, for the salad master owners, this is a very familiar step. This is actually going to be exactly the same way we fry chicken without oil or anything, right? So Amika, for you, you might want to somehow spray some oil to your baking dish, okay? To make sure it doesn't stick and you'll be able to lift it somehow easier later. But for the rest of us with the EOC, we don't need any oil, okay? So are you guys okay? Our EOC has been preheated. Now we're going to lay down our chicken. Okay. Okay. So hi to so, um, mommy and daddy. Uh, they joined in. Uh, Virginia, I saw you signed in. I hope you're cooking with us today. Hello. All right. So we're going to now sear and brown our chicken. Okay. Hello, honey. I have a question. Yes. What temperature are we do we have the EOC on? It's at 450, the same temperature that we use when we're um, frying our chicken. Okay. There you go, Joanna, there you go. Yum. So this is exactly the way we would fry our chicken without using any oil, except that today we seasoned our chicken, right? So are you good, Amika? And then Joanna? In the same way that we fry our chicken, I'm just leaving the lid on our EOC crank about an inch, okay? It's really like the way we fry our chicken. There you go, an inch open. And then I have my paper towel, as always. This is to just catch the splatter, okay? There you go. And then, honey, we're going to time this okay. for 20 minutes. Okay, now for Amika and Autumn, you're going to have to um, brown each side of your chicken. So right now it's skin down, right? You're going to have to do that. Oops, honey, I went all the way to three hours. Okay, <laughs> Can you please lower it? You're going to have to sear your chicken on each side about four to five minutes. You have to make sure in your traditional oven that your chicken is nicely brown. Okay. And then after four to five minutes on each side, Autumn, when it's nicely browned, you're gonna have to leave it there for about 20 more minutes because you're gonna need to cook your chicken through, okay? So the past few weeks we've been bracing and what we've been doing is we're searing our meat and then we stew, slow cook for a long time to cook it thoroughly. This is the reverse, <laughs> okay? We're searing and then cooking through with a searing process, okay? And then it will be fast for the sauce when we add it later. Make sense? Okay. So now our EOC is timed with the probe for 20 minutes. Everyone following along? Yes, Everyone yeah. following along? I uh, guess, right? Hi to Wang. Wang Sambila, it's good to see you again. I went long time no see. <laughs> I was so sleepy this morning. <laughs> uh, and then bang some sun as well. Hi, we saw you yesterday make that. Um, Ooh, the pandesal. Yeah. Was it the cheese pandesal? You and Roselle are like mean bakers. I want to taste your pandesal too. Yay, thank you for having coming. And I saw you make that adobo too mm -hmm. with, uh, with coconut milk. So All right. with joyful living. So while we are searing our chicken and cooking it through, we're gonna jump into our baking, okay? Okay. So everybody who's watching us on Facebook, this is like cooking on steroids. Nah, 
it's actually easy, but we're doing it at the same time. But you guys, it's not cooking on steroids because everything is simplified. Every single recipe we share, only seven ingredients or less. And we finished two things, okay? Our, our dish, our savory dish, and we always have a dessert. And we finish all of that in one hour. <laughs> okay, I'll, now. I'll set this up. Can you do the mixing first? Okay. Now we're going to do our cake. Joanna, are you ready? I want to make sure everybody's um, on pace. Now we're going to our cake while we're doing our chicken, right? So the first thing we do for our cake is here. We have to mix really well our melted butter. Okay, make sure your butter is melted. Our melted butter, our sugar, and what I said is optional. If you have it, you please may add a teaspoonful of your vanilla. If not, you don't have to, okay? So butter, sugar, and vanilla. And we're going to mix that really well. That's the first thing that will go, okay? For our dessert. Okay, note that we melted our butter earlier, so it's all liquid, okay? There you go. Uh, sugar, right? Yes. So Amika and Autumn, you guys won't be able to finish your um, your dessert on time because you're using your oven for your chicken, right? Yeah? You might not be able to yes. finish your dessert on time with a cooking class, but that's okay. At least while you're eating your chicken, you're waiting on your dessert. So by the time you're done with your dinner for the main course, your dessert is ready. Cool? So uh, I hope you got the invites right. We, we did the list of ingredients there, but what I used was three fourths cup of melted butter, um, one and a half cup of brown sugar, and a half teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. okay. Now we mix this really well. I had to adjust our screen so I can see my other beautiful friend, Rana. Hi, Rana. Are you okay? Following along good? Yeah? Okay, I'm gonna turn it on one more time. One more time. Okay, so is that good? All right. Then in another container, try to find, there it is. So set that aside and then grab another container or bowl, honey. Okay. And then we're going to mix in another bowl all the dry ingredients, namely your all-purpose flour, your baking soda, and your salt. Not baking soda, baking powder. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so one and one fourth cup of all purpose flour. Mm -hmm. um, I believe one, what was it again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's one teaspoon baking powder. Okay, that's why I got the right one. And then please add a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Or if you don't have a teaspoon a measuring thing, you just do two pinches of salt. Okay? Okay. Okay. Let's now see. mix those three really well with anything. Um, you can do this. Okay. All right. Just mix them really well. Um, typically this calls for sifting. Um, I'm trying to simplify everything I'm sharing with you. So we will not even sift because personally, I don't feel like there's a big difference with the texture. Okay. Okay. So we're just mixing all those really well. And then after that's done, your dry ingredients, Joanna, 
You're going to drop in your walnut and date. Yay! You guys, this dessert is addicting. I'm so glad you're doing this. One cup of chopped or walnut. Basically, I just pounded this. Oh, walnuts, you did? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't chop, he pounded on it. I used the mallet. He likes doing that. Even with our garlic, that's how he does garlic. He crushes garlic with the mallet. All the garlic cloves inside of the block, and then he uses the mallet. Bam, bam. Kind of makes sense. It's really fast. And then we right. have a cup of um, dates that we had chopped. Date. Yeah. Yes. I believe we used the salad master scissors for this one. Right. So in the future, if you want to do this again, in case you had a hard time topping your dates, especially when they're, they're like a little bit more ripe, a tip that I want to give you is you can actually freeze your dates for about five minutes to seven before you chop it. It will make it a lot easier. Okay. So you have to make sure that your dates and your nuts are coated really well, okay? Coated really well. All right, perfect. Okay, so you can see they're coated now. You see this? Okay, so he's trying very hard to coat them. Okay. Why are we trying so hard to coat them with the dry ingredients? Because when we mix this with our um, white ingredients, we're simply folding it in. We're not going to mix vigorously, okay? We're just going to fold it in. Okay, so I now William join us. Hi, William. Hi, Hi William. Hi, William Flores. Hi, William. Uh, Eddie Garcia. Lisa Dardar, Dallas Moon. Hello, and, uh, everybody. Iris Torres. So, and Crystal as well. Thanks for joining. Dallas us. Moon, you know, how is Gade? <laughs> you know who that is? Is it? Um, yeah, I know Gade. <laughs> anyway, hi. You know what we're talking about? We want to catch up with you. But anyway, so when this is fully coated, what you want to do next? With your wet ingredients, this time we're gonna add the eggs. Did you notice we did not add the eggs earlier? Now we're gonna add it, okay? To our sugar and oh, Loi and Mavic. Hi, Loi. Thanks for joining us. Loi Kawasaki. Yep. And Hi, Alex. Loie. Alex is star again. Oh, yeah. our chef friend Alex. You need to come join us one of these days. You teach us something, Mr. Chef. Our friend Alex sometimes he gives us a hard time after a cooking class. He asks us, "How about this? Da 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 da. How about that? Da 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 da." <laughs> oh, he always gives us that uh, friendly job. Somebody's mm -hmm. gaining weight. <laughs> it's me. It is always referring to me. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry, Alex. I don't care at this point. <laughs> no, I do care, but. I'm fine. I'm just, I feel like I'm happy this way for some reason. <laughs> so now we're make, we just added in our eggs, okay? There you go. Is everybody okay and following along? Joanna, you're good. I have a question. Yes. On the chicken, was I supposed to turn the temperature down? No, we're like um, keeping it at 450 degrees because we're cooking our chicken thoroughly this way. Like we're frying it, right? Okay. So you will stay at 450 degrees for all of us who are using the EOC. We're literally frying our chicken without using any oil at 450 degrees. The only difference is this time we seasoned it with garlic and salt. Cool? Okay. Good. Do we add in our dry ingredients? Yes. Now? So now we are going to start adding in the dry ingredients. So what does it mean to fold in? Oh, I would love to have Alex on the Zoom call. And then Alex can just 
can just Alex. How about you define what is folding? <laughs> oh, Joanna, I'm gonna ask my friend Joanna. What is folding in your wet your dry ingredients? What does that mean? <laughs> I put Joanna on the spot. What does it mean to fold in your dry ingredients with a wet? What does it mean to do what? Fold in your dry ingredients with a wet. Um, well, that means you're adding the dry into the wet and it's a folding action with your spoon. Exactly. <laughs> it's one bit at a time. Correct. What is the difference between vigorous mixing and folding in? Is we're trying to avoid a lot of air getting into it. We're not making it sloppy. That's why it's a folding action instead of the like that. <laughs> I don't know if I explained it well. I tried. Autumn, are you okay? Okay. This is my right. this is the way I fold it. <laughs> oh, that's vigorous, little at a time. And then it could have been a lot more and then okay. My husband is learning how to fold it in like you guys. I just so follow Autumn, the instructions. Yeah. You also have to get your baking dish ready for this. Ideally, grab a seven by 11. You know, the typical brownie pan? If you don't have that, you can use a square one. If you don't have that, you can use a round one. <laughs> We're not particular, okay? So while you're preparing your batter for your food for the gods, Autumn, get your baking dish and use some butter or spray on it. Okay, cover the bottom before you add your batter onto it. You're doing great, honey. That's folding. Yeah, I'm trying to be gentle and folding it. Alex, um, I don't know which part of the world you're at right now. This is um, in Greece. Mm -hmm. Are you in Greece? Yeah, our traveling staff friend. But you know what? I'm gonna give you the Zoom details and then. I would love for you to just um, join us one of these days <laughs> so we can ask you questions. <laughs> Marvy? Yes? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, we still have six minutes for our chicken. So, we're... Mm -hmm. so we are really cooking our chicken through this way, okay? Now I'm going to look at it. If my timer says five more minutes really brown because of the garlic here. All down. All right, we have five more minutes on our timer for our chicken that's being fried with some seasoning this time, okay? So I want to make note, if you saw, look, oh, my son took it out, but um, Mikael, can you please, do you see that? Joanna and Rana, there's a lot of browning because of the garlic powder. That's okay. Okay. There we go. Cover it again. We have four more minutes. See, we're almost done with our folding in. There you go. It's like a folding motion. You just keep putting your wet ingredients on top of the dry one. Boom. Folding. Great job, honey. Did we try to show you to um, everybody? We can show it through this camera. So if you could shift to this other one next. Mm -hmm. May I have that? Sure, no, no. Oh, he wants his water. Okay. Um, I don't think we've shifted camera, but if once we do, I'll show it to you guys. Oh, there. Okay. There's my battery. There's his batter that he's folding. <laughs> I'm going to keep um, calling, uh, calling out Alex. Is he doing a great job, Alex? <laughs> anyway. Our friends who are close to us that are Filipinos, let me know if you want a bite of the food for the gods. <laughs> You're going to want some. 
Okay, let me give you a, a bit of a trivia. While I said this is actually a Filipino dessert, I don't think it's originally ours. <laughs> I don't know where it really came from. Okay, some people think um, it's from the Persian. How it got to be with us, I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe one of our viewers can tell me. How did we end up with the food for the gods? And it's such a, how would you describe that name? It's such a. I think it's called food for the gods simply because it's so rich, right? Um, it's uh, sweet, it'll take you up there. And then no. there's the walnuts oh, and yeah. then there's the dates. So. That's true. It could be because it's incredibly uh, creamy and yummy. But at the same time, one of the things that I saw on the net, it said, I think they got the name because of the ingredients. Dates is very expensive, especially in the Philippines, right? Our Filipino friends and family um, used to be, especially back then, I guess, it was so much more expensive, dates and walnuts, because those are not local, okay? They're both in, um, imported ingredients. So I think only the rich people were able to afford to make these back then. Yeah, That's you know, why. So it's uh, October, right? So in, 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 the, in our country, in the Philippines, um, Christmas celebration kind of kicks off in the Vermont. So it started last month. But yeah, this is about the only time we have those special nuts, like walnuts, pecans, um, chestnuts. chestnuts. Believe it or not, this is the only time we buy them because they're kind of expensive throughout the rest of the year. So, All right, so now... Maybe that's why it's called Food for the Gods. Joanna and Verona, we are going to use our 11-quart skillet. Not 11-quart, 11 11-inch 11 skillet to bake our Food for the Gods in, okay? So for our friends and family who are not familiar with the solid master cooking system, we are actually able to bake in any of these regular cookers, okay? So this is what I'm going to use to bake our food for the gods in, okay? And I'm just going to get my brush, <laughs> if you know me, this is my favorite way of coating the bottom of the pan whenever I bake. I get a brush, here honey. We get a brush and I just add some butter. I love butter. So while I'm trying to eat and cook healthy, I must confess, I always find ways <laughs> to use some butter. I love butter. Who doesn't, right? All right, there you go. So sparingly, um, if you don't know, this is the most efficient way of adding oil or butter into your cooking. Use a brush. Oh, Ate Juvie, yeah. thanks for dropping in. <laughs> oh, our cousins who are like me, we cook. Ate right? Juvie and Alex answered cookie. I don't know what the cookie answer is for, Alex. Uh, for the folding in, because oh, you yeah. don't want it to rise. It does look like a cookie mixture. You don't correct. want it to be like fluffy, because if it becomes a lot more airy, your cookie is not going to be chewy and crunchy. That's why it's going to become more like a cake. And Mom Busy again from Nigeria. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. And Mary Ann Vivia Garcia Andres. Maraming salamat for joining us. Yes. So here, now we're going to put in our batter into our 11 inch, okay? And it is on medium for now. Go ahead, honey, and please add it. Put it in high. <laughs> no, we never use high heat with our solid master cooking system when we are baking specially. Okay, now here, my chicken is on. I'm gonna flip it to the other side. And I'm gonna bring up the temperature again to 450. Do you see my chicken food? There you go. Ooh, it looks so yummy. All brown and yummy. Okay. There you go. So friends, if you did not see, we did not add any cooking oil to this. We are using the natural oil of the chicken to cook our chicken in. 
okay? And then how much more time do we need? 15 minutes, okay? 14 to 15 on that other side. Amika, how's your chicken going? Are you still baking your chicken in the oven? Yes, it's still baking. Okay, how many more minutes do you need? Do you have left, Autumn? We have two more minutes. Okay, did you remember to flip it earlier when you were searing it on each side? Yes. Very good. Wow, Autumn, I'm so glad you're learning to cook. Yay. You know what, one of these days, I think I'm gonna do like a, um, a cooking class for teens, the most basic thing. What do you think of that? Is that something that will interest you, Autumn? Okay, that's it, it's flattened, that's good. And then we cover it completely in our 11 inch skillet at medium, right? And then we're going to wait for the clicking sound. Or you can go straight to medium low, a little bit lower than medium, just a little bit lower than medium, and time it, okay, for 40 minutes. So we will need 40 minutes for food for the gods. Autumn, when you bake your food for the gods later, it will be at 325 degrees in your traditional oven. Okay? 325 degrees Fahrenheit in the traditional oven. Preheated at 325 for 40 minutes. Salad master people in your 11 inch skillet is at medium low, straight through for 40 minutes. Cool? at a little bit lower than medium. Hi, Butch. Thanks for joining us. I just saw you sign in. Okay. Hi to Dinah. Hi, Dinah. All right. So everything smells so good here. And we still have like 34 minutes on the clock. Let's okay. talk. What do you want to talk about? Oh, the volume, can you shoot the volume? I'm so loud that I can hear myself on the phone. <laughs> Rana, how's everything? Is everybody able to follow along? Of course they are. I see Joanna. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> okay. Okay, hey, I wanted to let you know, Um, I'm so excited last week when we did our quinoa i it was funny because i think um the people who cooked with us were not expecting much from it <laughs> you know quinoa what can be so special about quinoa it's usually just a side dish right but it was so fun because um soon after the class joanna sent me a photo like just a few minutes after a photo of an empty plate <laughs> She was like, it was so good. I've never had quinoa that good, yeah. right? Everybody had amazing feedback. Roy yeah. and Julie said, mm -hmm. I mean, everybody was competing to get the second the, the They second actually serving. ran out yeah. because their team daughter was like, mom, this is so good, a team girl. I think uh, mm -hmm. if you missed last week's show, you can find it in our Facebook page, but uh, we roasted garlic, okay, sliced in half. So full cloves, right? Um, full heads of garlic. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that made a world of difference. Obviously, the quinoa was simmered in chicken broth and Ooh. with a lot of um, tomatoes and spinach. We kind of toasted it with mm -hmm. white wine first. Yep. The white wine is actually a big deal. The toasting of the quinoa with the white wine gets rid of a lot of the grainy bitter taste. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it went, it went by fast for us too. We had to make a second batch. He was like, why are you making so much? Because we did two batches, right? And I was like, oh. And it, sure enough, it was gone in two days. Bam. Oh, so um, but I've, I've stuck to no rice. And um, today we had uh, spaghetti squash along with uh, you know homemade uh, spaghetti sauce. It was really good. So that's another tip for you guys. If you're trying to avoid rice, Spaghetti squash, you know, um, cauliflower rice, those are right. amazing substitutes. Yes, but I will keep um, telling people, Priya Del, hi Priya Odin, 
We had our Del Gonzalez. Hello. Thanks hey, for Del. stopping by. We know the Del. Yes. Oh, actually, you are our new name. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I would like to tell, keep telling people, please try to eat more quinoa because it really is like a super food. If you know how much nutrients are in one cup of quinoa, it's amazing. Okay. So between quinoa and brown rice, we are all switching to quinoa now. <laughs> our kids are having a hard time. No more white rice, no more brown rice, no more rice of any kind for us. A quick question. Yes. Have you have you tanned your chicken? Have we? Yes, I've turned okay. my chicken on. And did, did you put it at 20 minutes again? Yes. How many minutes? Okay, all right. 15. Oh, 15 on the other side. So it's 15. Like wait, yes, so 20, okay. bone down, 15 with the skin on, okay? But if your chicken thighs are not that big, you can get away with doing only like 13 to 14 minutes on the other side with the skin side. Okay, so we're just making sure we thoroughly cook our chicken this way, because when we add our sauce, the combination of the honey or maple syrup and everything else, it will be fast. We'll do that for only like four to five minutes. It's to just add flavor to our cooked chicken. Okay, so this is actually more like a honey garlic chicken, but I removed the honey and I just said garlic chicken because I do give people the option of using either honey or sugar or maple syrup. Or maple syrup, because mm -hmm. our family were partial to maple syrup. I like maple syrup a lot. <laughs> um, I want to say hi to Lynette Louis. So thanks for, I think it's the first time to see your name show up, but uh, this is seven with Chad Marvy. We're cooking with only seven ingredients or less. Within the hour, real time with you guys. Yeah. So this is our kitchen. Welcome. Yes. Welcome, everybody. And once again, to our friends and viewers from um, UAE. <laughs> A lot of you are watching us. Thank you so much. Um, I really want to hear from one of you. Is there any American dish for you all that are watching from there that you would want to kind of like learn? Okay. Or you probably know a dish, but you feel like it's too complicated. Send us a message because we'll try to figure out if we can simplify it. Because remember, that's our goal. We want to teach you how to cook in a very simplified manner mm -hmm. so that whatever it is that we teach you, you can keep doing it over and over. You're not going to do it one time and then stop it <laughs> because it's hard to do. <laughs> so uh, we are making our food for the gods here on this 11-inch uh, skillet. Uh, you can also bake this in your oven if you want to. Actually, the whole pan can be placed into the oven. Or we wanted to just show you that uh, stovetop baking is also exactly. possible yes. with this uh, salad master box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now I only have to. Does somebody have a question? I think it's Joanna. Yes, I have a question. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm making rice to go with my chicken. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. And I wanted to do the thing that you told me about stacking and do my frozen broccoli on top of my rice. Can I do that, right? Yeah, you can do that. Okay, so. You need a lot of meat for your broccoli, Joanna. Oh, I need what? My girlfriend is going to stack cook. You know what that means? One. You can see it? Yeah, yeah, we can see it. We can see the green. Was that correct? Can you can actually spotlight, Joanna, so everybody can see what we're talking about. There. So my rice is down here, and then I have my frozen broccoli here. And okay. do I put anything in with the broccoli, or do I just put the lid on? Cover it. Just cover it. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right. right. Thank you. Thanks, Joanna. There you go. So why don't you start? Since he's gonna cook two different things at the same time. Hi, Bev. Thanks for joining us. Bev was on. Hi, Bev. Uh, we're making, thanks for dropping by. So we're making gar things. we're making garlic chicken. <laughs> um, chicken garlic chicken pies, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we we we're frying our chicken first, and then we're gonna add our uh, the rest of the ingredients. Right. So, so yes. Yeah. So while we're waiting on our time, I want to announce to um everybody next week because we are in the colder month. It's November. What are we gonna start teaching you? Okay. 
One of my thoughts is this, let me know, but we're actually starting November off with a really incredibly good salmon soup. Okay. That autumn, you can totally substitute with your portabea muskin, because I know you're vegetarian, right? Yeah. So we're gonna try to transition into soups, okay? Yes, but let us know your weather. feedback. I know that when we did the seafood month, um, a few of you were not able to join us sim simply because we had allergies to seafood and we don't want that to happen. So uh, please give us feedback. But for the first week, we are making the salmon soup. Yes, but that salmon soup, while we're doing the salmon soup, please know that you can substitute your protein, okay? That's why I just told Autumn, our team, that she can have portobello mushrooms with it instead of the salmon. And you can actually also do chicken breast with it. It was my husband's recipe. He did it one time. And I fell in love with it, you guys. It is so good. Is it Mediterranean? The soup? Uh -huh. Yeah. I it's did Mediterranean, Mediterranean soup, yeah. The way that we're going to make it. But it is phenomenal. You're going to want to learn that, okay? It will be perfect for cooler weather. And then for our dessert, dun -dun -dun -dun, what are we making? That's your, that's your area of expertise. <laughs> I just eat dessert. I don't really make desserts. <laughs> oh, I do make lemon bars. So I'm going to teach you that one of these days. Let's just teach it on Sunday. It's so good. You know, I'm not a lemon um, fan. But then when he made that, I, I think I ate more than half of it. It was so good. Would you guys like that? A lemon, lemon bar. Lemon, let us know. So Give us feedback, okay? Send us a, a message. Mm -hmm. Um, I see it attempting to click, but it's not completely clicking. Okay, it's okay. Because our burner is so much smaller than the bottom of our pan. Okay. okay. All right. Aiden Penuelo. Hello. Hey, Angela. Hi, Angela. Oh, Angela, I would love for you to teach your um, chili soup. That's right. Do you remember your chili, your Mexican yes. chili Always soup that Amazing. I tried in your home? A long time ago and um angela you guys is um i'm gonna say it angela okay she's a salad master owner and do you know how long she's had her salad master it's the oldest that i've seen with my own eyes <laughs> 40 years oh, she has 40 year old salad master but um, uh but angela's salad. chili is amazing and i think it will qualify because it is seven ingredients or less right angela Angela will help us figure it out, simplify it down to 70 years. We would love for you to come join us and teach us that, okay? Please let me know. <laughs> Bev, Bev, we're making us all food for the gods. That's our dessert. And um, and so we're doing it stove top style. It's so over there, here. Bev, the food for the gods is very similar. Everybody, this is very similar to a blondie. Actually, Joanna asked me um, yesterday, is that like a blondie? I said yes and no, because it's a lot richer than a blondie. And I think, honestly, personally, the ingredients in here that I really love, actually only one, it's not ingredients. The ingredient that I really love in this Are is the dates, date. The dates. The yeah. date. Okay, so Bev, this is almost like a Mediterranean type because of the date of dessert, but it's actually more known as the Filipino dessert. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> especially this time of the year. Again, Christmas. So we do a lot of this um, dessert stuff, especially during Christmas in in, in the Philippines. Uh, you know, I remember growing up, I didn't really eat too many sweets, but I would associate them oh, there, with yeah. holidays. Ooh, All right. Okay, so our chicken is done now. Our chicken is done, and my temperature also went away because my timer is done. So what am I doing now? I'm bringing up my temperature to only 350 degrees. Okay. I brought up my temperature, Joanna and Rana and Becky, this time to 300, only 350 degrees. Can you see it? Okay. So did you see the oil? We started with no oil, zero oil. That's just the oil from the chicken. Yes, the natural oil of the chicken. That's how we're cooking our chicken. And before we proceed to the sauce, we have to flip our chicken back to the bone down side. All right. 
back to the bone downside. And as we're doing that, Joanna, you try, Joanna, make space in the middle. Put your chicken on the side. We're going to use the middle for our sauce. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. There you go. Ooh, it smells so good. Can you smell? Yeah, the garlic. Uh, oh, what about this garlic? Gonna, yeah, um, we're going to do that now. My husband is like, we have more garlic. Yes. This is an overload of garlic. That's why it's yummy. <laughs> All right, here we go. And then, so you see how we made room in the middle? Now we're going to saute our fresh garlic. There you go. It goes in the middle. And we'll fry it in there for about 45 seconds until it's really fragrant, okay? So this garlic, we're not gonna brown. We just want it to be really fragrant, only about 45 seconds. So this is what you do, um, Autumn. What you're gonna do is you're, you have your chicken in your baking dish, right? So you have to get another cookware, an open pan, and you're gonna do what I'm doing with the garlic on your stove top this time. So for the traditional people who are doing this traditionally, you're doing this two steps. Okay, so in a big fillet, go to your stove top with a little bit of oil from your chicken. Grab some of the oil from your baked chicken and cook your garlic, your fresh garlic, for about 45 seconds. Is it been 45 seconds, honey? Not yet. I could smell it though. Right? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. This is the uh, apple cider vinegar. Okay. Oh. Here's what we're gonna do. When your when your um garlic is already fragrant. This is the vinegar. Okay. That's the broth. Yeah. We're gonna start adding everything in no particular order. Okay. So now we are cooking the sauce. We're going to start with. Okay. So this is our cider vinegar, two tablespoons. Okay. It's going in there. We use apple cider vinegar. You can use any type of vinegar that you have. It can be white, it can be rice wine, and then? And then we have our soy sauce. Uh, we have, uh, we're using liquid aminos, one tablespoon. Everything going in there. And then your broth, in no particular order. And then lastly? The maple syrup. The maple syrup. There, okay. That's it. Did you see how everything went in there? Ooh, this is gonna be so yummy. So at 350 degrees on your stove top autumn, that's going to be about medium high, okay? So you cook your raw garlic at medium. But when you start adding all the liquid, after you add all the liquid, you go to medium high. Make sense? You want a higher temperature because then now you're going to want a lot of this to evaporate because you want it to thicken. So I'm gonna do the same thing. From 350, Joanna and Rona, we're gonna do our temperature up to 375 or 400 even, okay? There you go. Do you see this, you guys? This is going to be so good. And we have some parsley. Honey, do you wanna grab some fresh parsley? We have some parsley, Pika Al, while we're waiting for this to cook, it's going to be about four minutes okay i'm gonna use our egg timer for my chicken so my husband is got um gathering some parsley from our windowsill i'm trying to grow some herbs on my windowsill you all there you go so about four to five minutes you're going to cook your chicken in this sauce okay Again, bone down first. And then after about two minutes, we're gonna turn it to the other side for about two more minutes and then flip it back. So we're just trying to make sure that this sauce is able to really seep through to your meat, inside your meat, okay? And we're gonna garnish this with parsley. All right, we're almost done.
Rana, are you okay? Are you doing good? I can smell everything. I'm gonna smell like garlic. Do you see this? It's all coming to my face. Okay, now we actually are going to pick another name before I forget. <laughs> I do not want to forget. Honey, can you please talk to them while I pick another name? We have another person, another viewer, who has a chance to claim a 4.5 point. Please raise your hand. Here we go. This is the last chance for one of you to be able to claim this, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Allergies. Let me just go pick a name. Can you talk to them? Okay, so I'm just like chopping my parsley here. Or like uh, cutting my parsley. How are you guys doing? Um, are any of you doing anything special for Thanksgiving? Um, we're still trying to figure out, you know, what kind of uh, dishes to show that you could add as probably some side dishes, right, to your traditional turkey. So if you have um, a very good recipe that's simple enough that you might wanna share with uh, the audience of this particular cooking show, if you don't mind, please share it with us. Uh, you can message us directly or you could email us. It's also in our Facebook page, but that would be great, right? If we could all exchange our traditional recipes for side dishes for Thanksgiving, it makes us feel like we're just one big family. Um, for us, we obviously like our mashed potatoes and our green beans. I, I do like to make some, um, scallops that I, I skewer and I wrap with bacon. Uh, and I do like to, to make some, um, um, it's like an appetizer, but it's a traditional Filipino appetizer. It's a pork belly, okay, that uh, we, we crisp out and then we chop into small pieces. And so it pairs well with wine or with uh, whatever beverages you're gonna be serving right before the main course. So if you have any special, um, side dishes, please, please share it with us. We would love to hear from you. Uh, that'll be amazing. Um, Thanksgiving is just around the corner, you know, because of COVID, I think we're skipping, we're, we sk we're skipping Halloween decorations. So we just went straight to like- <laughs> Our family just decided um, with our kids, okay, I'm gonna lower my temperature because do you see this? Look at that. Our sauce has thickened quite a bit. Do you see this, you guys? Yeah, Mikael, if you could ch change camera to this uh, oh, stuff here, man. yeah. Look! It looks darker on screen, but uh, it's really just, it's really just the sauce thickening up and uh, mm -hmm. it's uh, very aromatic. It smells really, okay. really good. So this is actually done, okay? I have a minute in there. And our honey garlic, no, this is maple syrup. What did we use, honey? Maple syrup. So we used maple syrup. So this is actually our maple garlic chicken. Okay, Autumn, are you okay? Are you able to do this on your stove top? Are you following along good? Yes. Mikael, can we please switch cameras at this time? To the food for the gods, yes. Okay, our food for the gods is not gonna be done on time as well because we need about um, 15 more minutes for it, okay? So what we're gonna do we're gonna is- We're gonna show it though, right? We're gonna show it right before we close out, but hey, I just picked a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, okay? Okay. What does it mean if you're the winner? You're actually able to claim that mini bracer pan, a 4.5 quart mini bracer pan, which is a limited edition piece for Salad Master. If you don't know <laughs> what that is, you better ask me because you guys, you don't wanna not claim it, okay? But the claiming it has a process, okay? It's a process and we're gonna email you how that is um, supposed to be done. But the person who just won is, I don't know if she's still here. Honey, Bev Ozin. Oh. Bev. Beverly, I don't know if you're still here. Hi, Bev. She said she was just jumping by to see what we were cooking, but if you're still on, Bev, congratulations, and then we'll get in touch with Yay. you to let you know, um, you know, what else needs to be done, right, for 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 you yes, to be able to for claim claiming that. that yep. Okay, but yes, you will want to be able to get that piece. But anyway, so here we're gonna plate this for you right now, just so you can see. Um, 
you want to plate it, honey? Here. With the parsley oh, on top. Is still here, actually. <laughs> she says that I'm here. <laughs> hey, you can grab this, Deb. Here. I showed it earlier. If in case you're not familiar what this is, Salad Master 4.5 quart mini bracer pan. The inside of this bracer pan is actually made with 316 titanium stainless steel. Okay. I think um um, hobby doctor is going to know what that is. <laughs> that so metal. how do you want this plated? There we go. Um, you can just put all of them together oh, and then okay. just add some of the parsley. I just want them to see. Um, we actually are not ready with any rice whatsoever. We're going to end up eating this with some squash spaghetti. Because I'm not eating rice nowadays. We're going to end up eating this with some squash spaghetti. All right. Are you guys curious as to how the food for the gods is looking like? Oops. Rana and um, Joanna, are you guys ready to show us your dishes? Before we sign off, Here you go, honey. Okay, that's our chicken, and then we're just gonna garnish. Yes. There you go. Bev, this is actually incredibly yummy. This is one of the most um, okay. flavorful chicken dishes I make. Here's our finished product. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do our traditional rounds with those who cook along. Yes, um, Joanna and Rana, can you please show us where are you guys at? I can you see my chicken? Yes. Yes, um, Mikhail, um, can you no. please show Rana? Rana, you have a background that's the San Francisco Bridge. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, right. that's Is that so? Okay, let me take it out. How do I take it out? God? Spotlight Brada, please, Mikael. How do I take that out? Can you, this background? Uh, On the settings? The I have a settings. There's the hub, hubby. Hubby, please help Brana. <laughs> you know, we've never done Melissa, this with our Zoom. So come and help me. We have have to, you tried it yet, Rana? Has anybody tried it yet? Yeah. We can come like back. It? We can come back to Rana. So maybe. Can you help me? I want to change. Uh, uh, Amika, so are you ready? Are you ready? Nancy, look at I think. No. I can't hear you, Autumn. I think you're mute. I'm ready. Okay. I think Rana is ready. Okay. We can go back. Oh, oh no, it's Joanna. Joanna. Okay. okay. Hi. Hi, lady. This one is a mean cook. She will always be ready. Yeah, it looks exactly like ours. <laughs> Have you tried it, lady? Can you try it and let me know what you think? Okay, I'm going to try it. It's exciting. Oh, do you want to try it, honey? Oh, sure. Okay, go ahead and try it too. While we're waiting for John. Um, can you check the other side? Maybe Mike and I'm not sure if Mike can Yeah. So I'm gonna, um, Mike and Amika, are yours done, Autumn? No? Can we go back to Rana if she's ready? Rana! Mika! There, Rana, we can see you now. Now we can see you. Yay! Mm. Have you tried your chicken? Do you like it? I haven't tested it. Ooh, look at that plate. Again, 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 again. Let me, see. ooh, look at that. The way you plate wow, it, it is looks so good. nice. It smells so good. Yeah. Yes, please let me know how you like it. Okay, everybody taste it now and tell me, honestly, how do you like this dish before we sign mm. up? <laughs> I just tasted it, it was good. Mm. It's so good, I'm telling you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right, isn't it so simple? but incredibly yummy. Mm. Oh my God. It's so <laughs> um, Becky, how, how are you doing, Becky? You're quite, you're quiet today and I can't see you. Did Becky cook with us today? Hi, I Becky. did not cook. I was going to, but I, I didn't get to defrost my food and I'm, I was late getting in, so I didn't cook. Oh, just do it on replay. 
Yes. But it's, you saw it, right? It's fairly simple. It's good. Yeah. Baby. Uh -huh. No oil. So it should Very be good. your diet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Joanna, did you, did you taste it? You like it's it? Good. Yes. Okay. So as usual, everybody, please take a photo. Take a photo with you in it. Okay. With you in it. We would yeah. love to see you with your food in it. And oh, everybody who's cooked with us, um, I would like to ask you if you can please like um, do a little bit of a review for us. <laughs> because here I have great news. I want to announce that we finally have our YouTube channel up. You Ooh. guys have been asking, do you have a YouTube channel? I'm like, no. It's so much easier. <laughs> so all of the videos are in YouTube. Marvie Not did yet. It. I'm still uploading. But I saw it's a I, whole process. I saw it. Uh, I saw the, the splash page. Marvie did an incredible job. So you'll, you'll find it easy to just look for the recipe that you probably remembered from like three months ago. It really is it's my there, husband. You know? So it's the same videos. It's on um, this page, on the Facebook page. What's going to be different is here. There's going to be a lot more shorter videos on YouTube as far as hacks and tips. The things that we do as a family, you're going to find it more in that YouTube channel. Okay. So I'm going to upload a link to our Facebook page and please do check that out in about a couple of weeks <laughs> when I've um, been able to upload a lot more content. But anyway, so one last thing I want to show you how the food for the gods is turning out, but it's not done. Mikael, you want to show everybody this, please? It's okay. Keep it there. Medium low. Here we go. Oh, I think this is good. Do you have it's a plate? It's not good. It's not yet. I could tell. Here, get a do you have a... Yeah, I got it. My husband is going for a toothpick, but I have a cake tester. Ta da! Yeah, it's still sticky. Yeah. See, it's not ready. It typically gets a little bit um, more brown. It's more brown. We this. need about um, five more minutes for it. Okay. But we've shifted to medium low. You could see from the edges, right? Oh, let me use the toothpick. I'm so. Um... See, it's it's uh it's lifting. It's not like uh it didn't stick to the pan, and that's what the the salad master pan does. It doesn't really burn your cake, which is kind of cool. There you go. So we need five more minutes. I promise we're going to show you the um, final product. Okay. Yeah. Just watch your page. We always tend to feature. I use the brown. Huh? I use the brown flour instead. Oh, oh perfect. That's, that's you great. use the healthier flour. Is it is yours done, Rana? May I see? It's, yeah. Oh, May wow. I see? Okay, Mikael. Okay. Please Mine spot Rana as well. Let Hi. me see, Rana. You're on. Look at, but we oh, can't oh, see I can it. see it. The camera's on you. It's not on the food. There. You. There. Oh, a little bit lower. Oh, okay. I can't can see. you lift? Can you lift the pan higher a bit? Okay, let me do it higher. Mm -hmm. There. Can you see? Yay! He's done. Look at that. <gasps> Rana, let me know what you think, okay? Oh, she's going to taste it now, right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's probably too hot, but let us know your feedback. Yeah, still too hot. Mm -hmm. Again, um, the pictures that you send us, we typically post it as well. And then I still see the finished plated uh, dishes. But thanks everyone for joining us. I know it's been a full hour. I hope it was well worth your time on a Sunday evening to learn something new and enjoy the company of uh, our friends who cook together with Seven. Yes, my husband is always very formal. Did you hear what he I said? I am always formal. <laughs> every day. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, everybody. Um, we will see you next Sunday. Please tune in. You're going to want to learn how to make that soup. Hi, I mommy. promise. See you. It's going to be like the quinoa where you go, oh, I didn't think it will be that good. <laughs> Bye, everyone. I'm, I'm still eating. Let us know if you need help, okay? Somebody said, I said, I'm still eating. <laughs> You're still eating, okay. <laughs> Just enjoy it, okay? You're, Thank bye, you everybody. So much. Have a great week ahead. Bye. Bye.